Okay, good evening party in your PJs people. I have half my face done. I washed my other half so I could show you my sugar plum fairy makeup tutorial. And so I've had this on today. I washed off half so that I could do the other half and show you oh, the things I do to get your attention, friends. I'm serious. Like, okay, so if you buy this little palette from your consultant, okay, so this is the little, this is the Sugar Plum Fairy palette. And I'm gonna tell you what's in it. This little palette, the just the container's 10, and then each eyeshadow is eight. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Okay, before I show you, it's crystalline, rose gold, uh, golden mauve, frozen sweet plum, and now I can't remember that color. So let me pull that out, but let me show you. I'm gonna do this other half of my face so that you can see, and all the little tips and tricks I did, just real quick, it took me, I don't know, this morning took me 10 minutes to do my makeup, 15 maybe, maybe, because I took my time. So anyway, here we go, ready? <laughs> okay, here's the thing that I think is amazing, and now my face is sweating because I had my hand like cupped over my face. Um, okay, so look at the, <laughs> I look ridiculous. Look at the difference in the eyeballs. Like, this one looks sad and punched or something. Like when people always tell me, I can't do, a, I can't do a contour dark eye because it makes my eye look smaller. I want to disagree right this second, okay? So, which eye looks smaller. This little sad puppy. Okay, let me pull this out so I can tell you. I have a little picture that goes with this that I'll post in the comments. <laughs> I just think, <laughs> as I was doing this, I was like, wow, one of my eyes shrunk. Sunlit Rose is this one. So it's Crystalline, Sunlit Rose, Sweet Plum, and Golden Mauve, which is my favorite. I love those colors. Okay, look how different my eye looks. One eye versus the other. And I didn't even, I forgot, like this morning when I was hurrying, I didn't do this eyebrow. So I forgot all day I've like been no eyebrow. Well, I mean, I have eyebrows, but okay. So we're just going to fill in so that I feel a little bit better about it. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Two seconds. And then like, bam, eyebrow. Okay. I'm actually going to get a fatter lip too. Like, I feel like. I feel like I'm talking funny because I feel like my lip is bigger on the bottom. All right, so that's the mood I'm in. I'm so crazy today. <sighs> it's been a long day, but it's good. It's good stuff. My daughter's in the Nutcracker. If you are local to me and want to come and see a beautiful production of the Nutcracker done by young people, and they are very talented. It's amazing to me. I'm like, they did that. That's incredible. Okay. So I think that's incredible. So I'm gonna show you how to do this amazing look really quick. One thing that I put on and I forgot, I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing half my face. I totally stuck this on already. I have eye primer on, I have make uh, face primer on, and I have foundation on this side. I have cheeks, I have everything on this side, nothing on this side, okay. So we are gonna first do eyes. And your eyebrows always look better when they are brushed up, and then I'll fill them in here in a minute. But what we're gonna do first is, I have been doing my eyeshadow sometimes before my makeup because then it doesn't matter what mess you make, okay? So this is, I don't know, Sunlit Rose. I keep forgetting the name of this color, okay. Sunlit Rose, and we're gonna put Sunlit Rose in the crease but higher and over, okay? So it's this whole like area. And you don't want to go down too far because that's when your eye starts to go, boom, like it starts to droop, okay? So you want to think up, friends, up. And hopefully I'll be able to match both sides, okay? But when you put your color a little too far down, it starts to make your eye droop and you don't want that. So the next step is in this awesome look is this color, Golden Moth. This is like a mix of brown and brown and like purple. It is the perfect color. It is so pretty. And I really, really, really love it. So this is like a great crease color and I just bring it lower to make more of a crease. 
and you're just gonna like fill it in. And then I take my big fluffy blending brush. This is my favorite brush. It is the best. And I just blend it until I get the right color. Okay. And you just have to trust the process. Okay. It's okay. All right. Then this is going quick. It doesn't take long to do your makeup. I promise. Then we're going to take sweet plum. And I'm gonna take our crease brush. This is meant to like put it in your crease, but I'm actually gonna take it the other way and just drag it along my lash line and flip the brush over and do heavier in the corners. Okay. Heavier in the corners. I love this little crease brush. It's really like intense. You can lay it color down really intense and heavy if you want to. Okay, then I always go back with my big blending brush and just blend out. And you want it all to kind of blend together. Okay, and it doesn't matter if it like falls down because we're gonna fix that. All right, then our all over color brush with this gorgeous crystalline. This is like a very light white and I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna just touch the top of my eyebrow right there and I'm not going to do too much. I'll fix that match over that side. Okay. There you go. Now this is the other thing. I love this new gel liner. We've had it for a long time. Okay. It's not new, but I was addicted to our pencil. I love our liquid eye pencil. It's like a Sharpie for your eyes. It's so amazing. It puts the best little point, but sometimes people have a hard time managing that. Love this. It comes with its own brush, but I've been using a detailed brush that Mary Kay had for a while, um, but you could totally use the brush it comes with. It's exactly the same brush almost. This one's just a little bit longer. And then you're gonna go ahead and just draw along the lash line in small little strokes. I don't know what that is. Oh, if you get it somewhere, it's okay. And this pot is going to last you the rest of your life. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're never going to use it up. It's going to dry out before you get a chance to use it. So make sure you put the lid on good um, because it's literally a ton of product and you don't use barely any. And do you see how like you don't have to pull and tug around your eye area because that's what you're trying to avoid. And you could even do like a little cat eye if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to do that today. Okay. So I'm gonna put the lid on this. I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrow. And the tip with your eyebrows is you start and then you end. You can kind of measure in little tiny strokes. This is the best eyebrow liner I have ever had. And I used to hate doing my eyebrows. This has made it all worth, worth it. It's the best eyebrow liner. And you're just going to go up, 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 up. Look how easy that is. Make sure they don't have to match. Okay. They're not, they're not twins. Okay. So then I'm going to take my, Ooh, I'm going to throw my foundation. I'm going to use my foundation. This is a matte wear. My color right the second is ivory N190. If you have no clue what your foundation color is, there's a quiz on your Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultants website that could help you. Or you can have your consultant come over and she can match your foundation. I only use a really little bit and I wear the matte wear one. And you don't need a whole lot. So I'm going to put a little bit more where I have some redness. This is our foundation brush and I'm just going to pat it in and then you can kind of brush it. And then I'm going to switch here in a second to my sponge already. Oh, I didn't do mascara yet, but I will in a second. Okay. So I'm going to just rinse out my sponge, my sponge because Oh geez, I almost used my t-shirt to 
I took off my little jean thing because I was getting too hot. Okay, so I just use this to blend. Okay, then, then, with a concealer and an under eye corrector, I'm gonna do a little under eye. It's a helping with darkness. And then I'm gonna put a little concealer. And I'm just gonna tap. And this is just gonna lift again. Oh, my people are being crazy. So then my dog is gonna bark. Okay. So then we're gonna go to Quick Bronzer. And I have this bronzer right here, it's called Latte. And I'm just gonna use my sponge. Oh boy, I'm a barking dog now. And I'm just gonna put the, Coco, go away. Oh, you're locked in here. They locked her in my room, hold on. Okay. Hmm. All right. Then to get this thicker lip, you're gonna stick bronzer under your lip line. Yeah. I'm so excited about that. Okay. So <clears throat> then I'm just gonna take a bigger fluffier or a little fluffy brush and just blend. Okay, then we got a little cheek color. Not too crazy on the cheeks. And I'm gonna do like a lip balm on my lips and I gotta add mascara. Um, so this is my absolute favorite mascara. Look how pretty. I mean, the eye is just like, it's so pretty. And if it's like a little too much, maybe your colors like, you're like, oh, it's a little too much. You just kind of blend it until you get the right color you want, okay? And then I'm gonna take our Fanorama mascara. This mascara is awesome because it lengthens, it separates, it prevents clumping, it does all of these amazing things and you can put multiple coats on if you want really dramatic lashes and if you don't you just do one coat really simple and even then it's pretty dramatic so I love the silicone brush and you can actually take this so there's two brushes on here you take it and then you go like this and then you can turn the brush and separate the lashes with another brush on the tip I never take the time to do that, but you could. And if it gets a little clumpy, if you get like a little crazy, you can just take this and go like this, okay? And then if you get a little bit of the mascara on your lid, if you're quick, you can just get it off real quick. And then you just have to retouch a little eyeshadow. Really simple. That's it. There you go. But seriously, um, I feel like my lip looks bigger. And I don't have any, I don't have anything on. This will work. This is Luminous Lilac Lipstick. It goes with the sugar plum look. Okay. There you go. There's my quick 14 minute sugar plum look. Hopefully you enjoy it. And hopefully you guys have a great Sunday night and a happy, happy week as we head into Thanksgiving. And um, I'm so thankful for Thanksgiving. And then we race into Christmas. And you uh, here, you can check out videos for our 12 days of Christmas starting December the 1st. I'm gonna have a video every day telling you about one of my favorite Mary Kay products. I'm so excited about that. So you'll be able to tune in here. And then if you comment, I'm gonna give away prizes every time you make a comment. If you add a friend to the group and then tag the friend in the in this video, um, I'm gonna add 
uh, a chance for you to get another drawing um, into the drawing for some free product. Maybe we will give away one of these little pallets empty so you can fill it with your consultant or um, we'll give away a great product. So I'm very excited about that. So comment below, tell me what you think about my sugar plum fairy look. And maybe next time we have a sugar cookie one too that I think would be fun. I renamed it Land of Sweets to go with the whole Nutcracker theme since I'm, since I'm Nutcracker 